This is part two of customizing a highway shield for labeling interstate highways. In part one, I showed you how the default symbols for interstate highways are available only in the full color version of blue and red. So how do we get a black and white version? The way I'm going to show you, which is not the only way of doing so, is to download the transportation style from Esri and then customize one of the elements in that and then save it in a way that you can use it for future projects. And that customization will be in part three. So we're going to go to a web browser and you'll need to go to the ArcGIS Pro Styles page. In this page, there are all kinds of styles that are available, and there are some groups here on the main page, industry styles, creative styles, and then some PDF guides that explain the individual symbols in the styles. So what you'll need to do is go to the gallery, and the elements in the gallery are organized in reverse chronological order by when they were modified. Because the transportation group has been modified fairly recently, we can see it here on the screen. However, if other styles get modified, what you'd have to do is search for the transportation group by just typing transportation up here in the search. I will click on transportation to go to the overview page, which gives a description of the style. And then I'll click download to download the style. And when I do that, it's going to save, in my case, to the downloads folder. Your web browser may do the same, or you may have your web browser set up where you can specify the location of a downloaded file. But once it's downloaded, we need to switch back to ArcGIS Pro. And then what we'll do is go to the insert tab of the ribbon and on the right you see the styles group and we're going to click add and then add style. You'll get a pop-up window and you'll browse to the downloads folder and you'll just select the transportation style and click OK. To see the style in the project, I recommend that you open up the catalog view and then expand styles and then click on transportation and now you can see all of the symbols that are part of this style. In part three, we'll customize one of these to use in your map.